Once upon a time, there was an anglerfish named Lumi who lived by herself on the bottom of the ocean, off the coast of New Zealand. It is so dark down there, like pitch black, because it's thousands of feet deep, and the sunlight from the surface cannot reach that far. Lumi is super cool because she has an extension on her forehead that is covered in bioluminescence bacteria, which allows the anglerfish away to see. The bulb also helps the anglerfish catch the food because the extension also serves as a lure, which is why she's called the anglerfish. While her life sounds fun because she can fish all day with her extension, she often gets very lonely. Living approximately 6,600 feet under the sea makes it very difficult to find friends, literally. One day, Lumi set out into the murky and dark ocean. She hoped to find friendly faces in the darkness, but she knew that was unlikely. At this depth, true monsters lurk in the darkness, and they are deceitful. Light is the ultimate promise, a promise of communication and connection, or the guarantee of a swift and unpleasant end. As an anglerfish, she herself was guilty of this fact and knew it all too well. Swimming through the dark expanse, Lumi spotted something. A sense of dread claimed Lumi as she slowly started approaching the light. She hoped for the best. The normally icy water Lumi was accustomed to was getting warmer. She felt hungry and settled into a rocky nook so she could hide herself while she lured food to her. Lumi became uncomfortable in her spot because the water was now considerably warmer, so she moved to another spot but soon had the same problem there. Lumi moved from spot to spot to try to escape the hot water until she was glued to her current spot by a commotion not too far from where she was. Frozen with fear and awe, she forgot about her hunger and about finding friends. Oh my goodness! What was that?! She saw a bright blinding light that resembled spider web cracks on glass and it glowed much brighter than her bioluminescent bulb as it was oozing out of the seafloor. There was an eruption that felt like the whole ocean was being shaken and a strange liquid started coming out of the cracks. As it was oozing out of the vents, Lumi became scared as the bright orange liquid started seeping out faster. Lumi continued to witness the catastrophic events that were unfolding right before her as the lava was oozing and rapidly cooling against the cold Pacific Sea. This is strange and exciting. I wonder what is happening. Yellow and green clouds of hot gases, mainly sulfur, began to billow into the ocean like neon fog from a scary movie set in outer space. Lumi is blasted by intense heat radiating from the vents on the ocean floor caused by the eruption. On second thought, retreat! The heat was so hot, Lumi had to retreat back to the colder water and watch the plumes or areas of glowing cracks where hot magma rises out of the earth as it rose in columns towards the surface. I think there's something big is happening. Even scarier than the one time I was chased by a goblin shark. I should take my angling light and search to see how big that hot cloud and black ooze is. Do you think it was an earthquake? Silly girl, it's called an earthquake. Yet, my child, I am certain this is called a volcanic eruption. Lumi was amazed at what she had seen and was even more amazed to hear the stories Vamp heard about the bright hot liquid could flow from the bottom of the sea where she was all the way to the top where other fishes were seeing a similar scene.